Hey, hey, greetings and welcome to Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri Alien Crossfire. I've had a lot of requests from my subscribers to play this game, so I think we're going to sit down and get into this today. The interesting point is, by the time I upload this and publish it, it's going to be release day for Civilization Beyond Earth, which is uh, the spiritual successor to this game. So while the rest of YouTube does that game, I figured I'd do this game. So uh, this game is was released in 1998 with the uh, Alien Crossfire expansion pack coming out in 1999. So we're talking about a, almost a 16-year-old game here. And it still stands up today to uh, some of the better titles that are out there these days. Um, I never really owned this in the past. Um, I used to borrow it off a neighbor. I mean, we're talking back in 1999 when the only way to really get games was from a retailer, a physical retailer, or to order it online th uh, through a credit card because there was no PayPal at the time. At least I didn't have PayPal. So uh, I never did actually own this game. I borrowed it off a neighbor periodically who was a big player of the game and uh, sort of got into that way. I didn't have the, uh, the I never played the uh, expansion pack, the Alien Crossfire, but he had the original. And he was an avid player, so I'd only have the disc for a day or two and he'd be wanting it back to play it himself. So I didn't really have too much exposure to it. I've never really finished a game either. So this should be quite interesting. Uh, I should also point out that I'm uh, bringing this to you in 1080p for the first time on my channel. I can actually record something at 1080p. So by all means, crank up that resolution. And as you notice, I'm not actually in the game yet. Uh, the reason being is the title music uh, for the menus is somewhat loud, and I really don't want to be shouting over top of it to try and uh, give this little blurb that I wanted to give before we got going. So once we get into the game, I'm probably just going to click through the menu, set up the game, and uh, I'll start talking again once we get into the game, and I'll explain what uh, my choices and everything were there. And uh, just a fair warning, uh, watch your speaker levels when I do start this up, and uh, um, we'll see. Okay, we are now in the game. I actually had to cut out the entire uh, opening menu system because YouTube kept flagging the music behind it as copyright. So I've had to start this like three times just to eliminate this. I tried editing the video and they ended up barfing on that. So we're recording for the third time and hopefully this time we get it. Uh, before I get going, I should just point out that this game is available on GOG.com. I think it's about $6, so uh, by all means, grab it up. It is a classic, and you will get hundreds of hours of gameplay out of it, no problem. Um, you might find it on sale, too. I think I picked mine up for like $2.99, so yeah, that was a couple months ago. So it does come on sale periodically. Okay, so uh, we just landed in our, in our uh, pod, and we're about to establish our first base, which will be Alpha Prime, so I'm just going to hit the OK button to do that. And as far as what we're looking at here, uh, we'll just look at a couple things here. Uh, the menu, uh, I'm not going to go into too much of this. I'm just going to sort of point out that this is where you, you know, set all your preferences and uh, look at your laboratory status and all that kind of stuff. So there are a whole bunch of sub-menus here we won't go through right now. I will go into the help for a moment, um, and we're just going to look at our faction profiles. Uh, as far as game setup, I guess you didn't see any of that. I guess maybe I should talk about that for just a minute. Uh, we're going to be on a large planet. And as far as uh, planet settings, I went with the middle settings for everything. So it's not the lowest, not the highest, but sort of middle of the road for, the, for all those settings. Uh, game rules, we're going to allow transcendence and conquest victory only. Uh, there's a couple other victory conditions, but I'm not going to worry about those. We're, we're actually going to aim for transcendence, I think, in this game. Um, spoils of war, I think I enabled, which allows us to get tech if we conquer bases, which will help our uh, research. And there's one other setting I put on. I can't remember. Oh, um, yeah, we're not. We don't have a visible planet, so um, I think that's the other one. Um, yeah, we'll we'll see as we get into it. And these are the uh, factions that I've actually put in the game. Uh, this is us here, the cybernetic consciousness, and our leader is Aki Zeta Five, Prime Functions Shell, and our background is a subroutine specialist under Unity Science Officer, and her agenda is rational objectivity, and. Uh, as far as her tech, uh, she's inf she has information networks and applied physics. And as you can see, we get a bit of a research buff. So plus two research, human research abilities enhanced by algorithm algorithmic control. Uh, plus two efficiency, so we're not going to lose a, a huge amount out because of inefficiency. So we got a bit of a buff on our efficiency. Uh, minus one growth, humans possessed by, uh, by an algorithm find reproduction awkward. 
uh, impunity to cybernetic penalty. Uh, cybernetic social choice is rational and not dissident by citizens. So uh, the citizens don't mind being augmented by it with cybernetics. Uh, we can steal technology when capturing base, as I already mentioned, and uh, may not make fundamentalist choice in social engineering, which is a, an, an aspect of the game we'll get into in a little bit. Uh, as far as the other factions, I put the University of Planet on, just because uh, they're going to be a direct uh, competitor in our uh, transcendence victory. So they also have some uh, research buffs, and uh, I won't go through everything here. If you want to pause the video and have a look, that's fine. Uh, they also may not use fundamental politics. So, um, as far as other uh, factions, we got the Gaians. Um, they're planet friendly. And I also put the Cult of Planet on here, too. They're also planet friendly. So, I'm not sure how that'll work. They'll either hate each other or love each other. I'm not sure just which way that's going to go. And also put both of the alien races that come with the uh, expansion pack, the alien crossfire. So, these are the guys that uh, were sort of fighting it out above the, above the planet surface and. Uh, they ended up a crash, crash landing on the planet. So uh, one, one faction is the caretakers. The other faction is uh, usurpers. So they really do not like each other. I put the Spartans in. Just uh, they're more militaristic. And that'll give us a bit of a, a challenge when it comes to actual uh, combat. And who else have I got here? I guess that's it. So that's who we're looking at in this game. So we're just going to exit out of that. Now, as far as what we're looking at in here, this just basically tells us what, our, what unit we have selected. And this is the tile that he's standing on. If we click that, we can see what happens when we add stuff to it. So if we put an energy collector on, uh, yeah, well, we still get one, doesn't matter. So um, it doesn't matter if we put uh, an energy collector on there. We're still only going to get one off that. But uh, we'll look at that a bit more as we go. Um, and there's elevation. Uh, yeah, as you can see, the land sort of uh, has uh, dips and valleys and that. So there's different elevations on the map, which is kind of cool. Um, some basic information about how we stand in the game. And uh, there's going to be some messages as the turns progress there. And uh, if we have a stack of units, the, all the units will be listed here. And we got our basic mini map and all that. And Comlink is here for contacting other factions. Uh, as far as the city itself, or base itself, I'm probably going to end up calling these cities uh, for most of the game because I'm just used to saying that. Um, but it is an actual base, I guess it's what it's referred to as. And you can see we have our nutrient count here, and it's going to take 22 turns for us to uh, grow to size 2. Which is a problem because we've got our colony uh, selected to be built here, and we can only build a colony pod if we're size 2. If we build it at size 1, we disband the city. So I'm probably going to have to change that up right away. Actually, we'll do that right now. And we can do that by hitting the change button or clicking right here. So I'm just going to switch that to a scout patrol. And we're probably going to waste a few minerals here, but uh, not much I can do about that. So we're just going to switch that up. Underneath is the commerce, and that's where all the trade routes and everything are going to be uh, listed. And the mission year is 2101, and energy is 11. That's our money. And it shows the equal damage for the city. And as we get bigger, we're going to create more eco damage, and the alien life forms are going to hate us for it, and so are the uh, the planet lovers as well. Um, and we can uh, check out some other stuff. We got the resources here, support. Uh, once we get uncover more of the map, we'll be able to see where uh, units out of this city are actually stationed. And then we got the psych here, which is basically your happiness, and it shows the modifiers and everything. So if you played Civ 2, this is all the mechanics of the game are a lot like Civ 2. Um, and we can see we have headquarters at our base, and we're, uh, we have three nutrients, uh, two of which are beaten, being eaten by our one citizen, and we got one left over for growth. And minerals, we're uh, mining two, and energy, we have three, and energy can be uh, allocated between economy, lab, and psych, so those two are pretty much self-explanatory, but the psych is pretty much your happiness, so it's like your luxury settings. And the name of the base, and that's our citizen. And if the citizens get really unhappy, we can nerve staple them, but that's considered an atrocity, so we try to avoid doing that. And forces support will show here. So that's about all we need to see in there. Okay, so uh, looking around, we can see some fungus around, so uh, that's going to create some problems as far as spawning uh, mind worms and stuff like that. So I'm just going to move out and maybe come over and see what that pod is. And I'm, I'm just holding down the mouse button until uh, the unit moves. That's how we do that. Or we can use the actual uh, keypad on the on the uh, keyboard. 
Uh, okay, so that's our scout patrol done. Uh, growing in 21 turns. This isn't a very good uh, city for growth, that's for sure. Uh, I think I'll leave it there because we're getting one of each uh, resource there. But we're not going to be able to build a colony pod for a minute, that's for sure. Um, I don't know whether I want to build any more scout patrols. No, maybe I'll build one more. And then we'll have good protection in here. So I'm going to fortify him in the city. In this game, it's called hold, and we hit the H key to do that. And we'll see what's in this uh, pod, Unity pod. Pod recovered. Okay, we got 75 energy credits from it. Perfect. Turn complete. And I see we have a problem here. This thing's probably just going to start bombarding our city. Yep. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to come over and take care of that. Okay, we get to choose a tech now. Uh, we could, uh, one thing I try to go for first is Secrets of the Human Brain, but because we have the uh, university in the game, they're probably going to get it before us. They always get that first. But I think I'm going to try it anyways. Maybe we can actually beat them to it. Uh, nine times out of ten they get it first, but we'll at least try. And it, it'll give us some stuff that we need anyways, like Recreation Complex, which will give us fewer drones. Drones are basically unhappy people. Okay, so let's move over here and see if we can take care of that thing. Investigate pod beacon. Oh, there's a beacon. Oh, there's a pod right under this typing. That's, I didn't see that. Uh, yes, please. Nutrient resources. So we got some uh, resources out of it. Uh, if we come back into the city here for a sec. Yeah, you can see it there. You can't really see it too well on the map because of the, uh, the text type. Okay, so we can farm that and get more uh, food. And I'm just going to hit the uh, Z key here. And that's going to zoom the map in just a little bit. There we go. So thing, make things just a little easier to see. Um, okay, let's come out and try and get rid of that thing. So uh, before I do that, I'm going to click on the city and maybe change our production. Uh, we'll go to a network node for now, I guess. Actually, I should stockpile energy. That's going to be a little bit. Uh, yeah, we'll stockpile energy first, and we'll build up some uh, credits, and then we'll be able to actually rush some production if we want to a bit later. We got 91 already, so we'll, we'll just add to that. And we'll bring some units out and see if we can't get rid of this thing. Okay, communication officer. After days of mysterious activity on Alpha Centauri system, a strange craft seems to have fallen out of the pr pr uh, planetary orbit. Uh, spectral readings indicate that this hull is not of Earth origin. And now we have an interlude from the Book of Planet. And we got a huge paragraph to read here. And I warn you right now, I'm not the best at reading out loud. So you'll just have to bear with me here. Um, it has been a rough seven years on planet, ecking out an existence on the strange surface of this alien world. Uh, Alpha Prime has established itself at, as your command center, and you are gradually reaching out to the other faction leaders, trying to re restore balance to the remnants of a tattered humanity. On this day, as you make a routine inspection tour of your base defenses, your rebreather begins to rattle in your mouth. Clouds suddenly boil up from the horizon as two bright lights flash in the sky high above you and then expand out in waves of purple fire. Prime function, your lieutenant chokes out, grabbing your shoulder. You forgive the impropriety. She seems ready to push you to the ground, but you tense against her, trying to see through the chaos, tearing, tearing the sky apart. Besides, there is nowhere to hide. The first wave of purple fire washes across the sky and buffets you in a strange cold wind. Then the second one chills you deep to the bone. Your eyes close, feeling as if your body has been shaken to its core. Finally, a calm descends. Your lieutenant is staring at her hands, which tr still tremble. You quickly pull out a pair of binocs and look through them, uh, searching the sky. What are you looking for, she asks. That you finally say and start to hand the binox to her. But as you look at, but as you look, she is already staring at the sky where two shape, streaks of light approach the new world. The streaks dance and twist around other, each other as they grow larger in the sky. New arrivals, you say, and it doesn't appear as if they like each other. So those are those are the two aliens uh, that were fighting above the uh, planet and they're now crash landing. Okay, so uh, back to this. Let's try and take this out. I don't know what the combat odds are going to be, but 
Uh, 81 to 20, I believe that's in our favor, so we'll proceed with that. Okay, perfect. And we keep in mind that uh, we're better off on the offense than we are in the defense when it comes to mind worms and uh, alien life forms. Uh, we do better defensively than off or offensively than we do defensively against them until we get uh, some promotions on our units. Okay, our, spoke, our scout patrol has it performed admirably and now, has now achieved discipline status. So if you look at the shield here, you see a little wee tick on the top corner there. That uh, denotes that we have a promotion on that. This guy doesn't have that. So we're just going to actually use these two to maybe scout around immediately around our base here. And there's another uh, unity pod, so we'll grab that. Nutrient resources. More nutrients. If you can discover a better way of life than office holding for your future rulers, a well-governed city becomes a possibility. For only in such a state will those rule who are truly rich, not in gold, but in the wealth that makes happiness, a good and wise life. Plato, The Republic, Data Links. That sounded a bit low. I might turn up the volume on that just a little bit. Uh, Recreation Commons. Okay. Uh, that, uh, as we said, said before, uh, reduces the number of drones in our colony by two. And it opens up a few other uh, technology areas, including Secrets of the Human Brain. So we're, that's what we're shooting for right now. Okay, and where is... There it is there. So the Secrets of the Human Brain. So we got to get biogenetics in order to uh, progress towards that goal. So we're going to select that. This will give us recycling tanks too and the Human Genome Project, which is a secret project like a wonder. So we can uh, maybe start looking into building that. So we'll select that tech. And this is our monument screen. Cybernetic scientists discover social psych, the first research breakthrough since Planetfall. And of course, the university beat us to it by four by four years so like I said chances are we're not going to get the secret of the human brain first because I know the re I know the university is beelining to that right now oh a monument uh, the arcane t the arcane technology of the monument has uh, promoted our units so as you can see there's another little tick on his uh, shield there um, hopefully you can see that um, so I'm going to bring him over to that monument as well and maybe upgrade him a bit. Okay, and that one's now I've got discipline status. Perfect. Energy resources. And there's an energy resource. Excellent. And maybe we'll wander over this way with this guy. And another pod right there. Mineral resources. Mineral resources. So this is looking like a pretty good spot to put a second uh, call or uh, Base. So we'll look at coming over here next, I think. We hold life to be sacred, but we also know the foundation of life consists of a stream of codes, not so different from the successive frames of a watch of it. Why then cannot we cut one code short here and start another there? Is life so fragile that it can withstand no tempering? Does the sacred brook no improvement? Chairman Shen Ji Yang, Dynamics of Mind. Okay, so another technology. This gives us recycling tanks and the Human Genome Project. So that's a wonder that we can uh, start building whenever we get enough resources to do it. And it opens up new technologies, including Secrets of the Human Brain. So we're going to actually try and get that, which is where? Um, hmm, it's not here yet. Oh, no. Well, we're definitely not going to get it now if we got to wait another, uh, another tech level. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go for the speeder. I'm not missing it. Nope. Okay, so we'll go for the speeder. Yeah, chances are we're not going to get that, but uh, it was worth a try, I guess. And actually, I meant to increase the uh, the voice on this. There we go. Just bring that up just a little bit there. Okay, 
So we'll continue on. Oh, what's this? Uh, if we right click info on this square, Unity. Okay, it looks like uh, parts of the, uh, the Unity spacecraft. So let's. Uh, ah, yes, UNS Unity wreckage. And I think there might be some bonuses for just walking through this, if I recall. So we'll go to this one. Ah, there we go. We have found part of Unity's shattered cargo bay. Our technicians can salvage a mining laser from the wreckage. Ah, a new unit. Excellent. Okay, so I think we just need to walk on to all this stuff in order to get the bonuses. Bot recovered. Okay, we have found part of Unity's shattered cargo bays. Our, our technicians salvage a scout chopper. A chopper, that's kind of early for one of those. From the wreckage, the chopper has limited fuel and we should return it to base as soon as possible. Okay, let's come back into Alpha Prime here just for a second. Uh, we got those two units we just found and unfortunately they're costing us all the rest of our minerals right now. So that's not good. Um, so we're going to have to do something about that. Um, I might just disband one of these uh, scout patrols maybe and try to get at least one mineral back. Uh, once we get another base set up, then we can uh, start uh, distributing our units for support that way. Um, okay, so I'll have to maybe look at that. I'd kind of like to keep the chopper though. I don't know whether it's gonna make it back anyways, but we'll see. So I'm just holding down the mouse button. Okay, made it. Um, Actually, what I'm going to do is queue up the colony pod right now. Yeah, we'll get going on that. Uh, we, we're only five turns till we grow. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to, I don't really want to get rid of that one though. Because I got him promoted a little better than this one. So maybe once this one's done sort of getting all this stuff, then we'll maybe disband that one, get that uh, mineral back. And see, we got another piece of wreckage here. Bot recovered. We have stumbled across secondary reactor the unit, in the Unity wreckage. It contains compounds and material worth 150 energy credits. Excellent. Okay, we're going to bring him over to the monument for promotion. And you just sort of figure out what th what else we got here. Oh, there's something else. Um, might take him out to do some exploration too. Um, you have to be back to your base within, uh, you can come out one turn and then you have to be back to your base in the next turn or else you, you start crashing and stuff like that. So let's just see how far we can get here. Yeah, we need a ground unit to get those. Okay, maybe we'll just start heading back at this point. Yeah, so every every turn that you're out of fuel, you actually get damaged. Indigenous life form. Okay, we met our first mind worm. Okay, and our scout performed admirably. We have now achieved veteran status. Once a man has changed the relationship between himself and his environment, he cannot return to the blissful ignorance he left. Motion of necessity involves a change in perspective. Commissioner Previn Lal, A Social History of Planet. Okay, I think that voice level's a little better. So this gives us a command center, which gives our units uh, two morale upgrades when we build them in that city. And morale, ba oh, I'm not going to read all that out to you, but morale basically uh, helps your psi defense and psi, def psi attacks are what the mind worms use. And we also get a speeder. And we'll be looking at that just in a second here. And we'll go into the workshop. And there he is. That's our new unit that we just got from that. And we can, we can actually uh, do different things with these units. We can uh, uh, put different weapons on them. Actually, I'm just going to cancel that. 
if we have, yeah, so we could put a laser on that if we want. So we could just select that, and now he's got a laser, Recon Rover. But we don't need to do that because we already got a Recon Rover. But, uh, and then there's special abilities as well. We don't have any yet. And different kinds of shielding, all that kind of good stuff. So I'll just cancel it at that. And uh, we should have Secrets of the Human Brain available to us at this point. Yep. And I'm pretty sure we're not going to get it. But we'll try anyways. And I think we're probably approaching the end of this episode. Unfortunately, this is full screen without any way of to alt-tab out or check my time or anything. So it's going to be tricky to try and time this out. Just see what this is before we go, though. Bot recovered. Ah, found uh, the Unity Command Bridge. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode here. It's a good. Uh, hopefully, I can get this one on YouTube because uh, I'm getting sick of uploading these personally. And anytime I try to take the offending piece of music out, it would fail. Um, so I just uh, decided to start over again. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, we'll see how this series goes. I'm kind of excited to get playing this. So if you're with me, uh, hopefully you'll see you next time. And uh, take care.